Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? We back with another one. I know I didn't give y'all predictions for week five. But I still got my picks, and I still will let y'all know my picks for this week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, pretty much. Pretty good week. You know, I can't complain. You know, it's been pretty much a busy week for me. That's why I didn't be able to give you guys these uh, predictions. But um, first off, I'm just going to um, read you off my predictions and let's do a recap with that as well. So first off, Thursday night game, I said I was going to pick the Seahawks, which I did. Seahawks took a loss. So now that makes my Thursday night record 4-1. It's my first loss for a Thursday night. Rams came out, did their thing, 26-17 was the final score, you know, um, that was a pretty good game too, I wasn't expecting the Seahawks to lose that game, so, you know, but it's the NFL, that's how it goes, um, also, Russell Wilson, I didn't see him playing all the way through the whole fourth quarter, I don't know if he got injured or whatever, uh-huh. but, um, Smith didn't close the deal. So that's where I think my uh, pick for the Seahawks went downhill right there. You know, the Rams are already a good team with a good defense. Um, the offense showed up. Stafford got the new offense going. You know, the communication with the team is very up, up to date. Um, just Seahawks couldn't execute that game that night. And, yep, I took the loss, 26-17. So moving on to the next game was the Jets and the Falcons. I picked the Falcons in that game. And so Packers, Bengals, I picked the Packers. Lions, Vikings, I picked the Lions. Broncos, Steelers, I picked the Broncos. Dolphins, Bucks, I picked the Bucks. Saints versus the Panthers. I had picked the Saints. Dolphins. Oh, wait. Never mind. I take that back. I already said that. Sorry about that. Eagles. Panthers. I picked the Eagles. Titans. Jaguars. I picked the Jaguars. Patriots. That was a week I picked my Patriots. And guess what? <laughs> we will talk about that later. <laughs> How about those Patriots? Yo. Bears versus Raiders. I picked the Raiders. Yep. I picked the Raiders. So next game was the Browns and the Chargers. I had picked the Chargers. The Giants and the uh, Cowboys. I picked the Cowboys. 49ers Cardinals. I picked the Cardinals. Bills versus Chiefs. I picked the Chiefs. And for Monday Night Football, Colts versus Ravens. I picked the Ravens. And my spread points was 51. The game, we'll get to that later. But uh, yeah, so those are my predictions. And now, before we get to anything about Gruden, you know, that's going to be a little topic later on after these uh, recaps. So now, we already recap. We already know the Seahawks lost. You already know the score, 26-17. That was a loss for me. You know, that's, that's that's really one loss right there. Let's see what we do Sunday. So, Jets, Falcons. Jets 20, Falcons 27. I picked the Falcons. That's a win. That's one win. Next game was the Packers versus the Bengals. Packers 25, Bengals 22. I picked the Packers. That's another win. So, now we move to the next game, which is the Lions versus the Vikings, which was 17 and 19. Lions took a L, and so did I. Next game was Broncos versus Steelers, 19-27. I picked the Broncos, so you know I took a L on that game. So there's two wins, two losses for Sunday. We're going to add the uh, Thursday night game in as well at the end of this uh, segment. So, 
Next game we're moving on to is the Dolphins versus the Bucks. I picked the Bucks. The game was 17 to 45. Bucks won hands down. Gave me another win. Next game, Saints versus the Washington football team. Saints did their thing. I picked the Saints. 33-22. Got the win. Next game, Eagles, Panthers. Eagles 21, Panthers 18. Got another win. Can't complain. You know, so Titans versus Texans. That game was 37. Oops, sorry, Titans versus Jaguars. That was 37 to 19, which got me another win. Next game, let's go Patriots. With that win, 25-22 over the Texans, which got me another win. Bears versus the Raiders. I picked the Raiders, and I took an L. 29 was the score. Browns versus Chargers. 42-47. I picked the Chargers and they got the win. Giants versus the Cowboys. 20-44. And I picked the Cowboys. 49ers Cardinals game. 10-17. I had the Cardinals. That's another win. Now, those Bills are looking real good, man. The Bills are looking like a team every week that comes out, and they put up points, they put up, like, you know, stats. They're doing their thing. And the end of that game was 38-20, to 20, uh, Bills versus Chiefs, 38-20. And I picked the Chiefs. Something was telling me to pick the Bills, but I thought the Chiefs could do it at home, but that Bills uh, team has showed that they're, like, pretty much, um... Almost unstoppable a little bit, you know what I mean? Gotta watch out for those Bills. Those Bills is a tough team. Next Monday night football game. Colts, Ravens. Thriller game, 25-31. Another overtime. Couple fumbles by Lamar Jackson. But they still pulled it off. 25-31, which gave me a win. The square point for that was 51. The game uh, went to 56. So... Let's go ahead, let's, let's tally this up, you know. Seahawks got me a loss, that's one loss, so I'm 0-1. Falcons with the win, 1-1. One one. Packers with a win, 2-1. Two Lions with a loss, 2-2. Two two. Broncos with a loss, 2-3. Bucks with a win, 3-3. Three three. Saints with a win, 4-3. Eagles with a win, 5-3. Titans with a win, six and three. Patriots with a win, seven and three. Raiders with a loss, seven and four. Chargers with a win, eight and four. Cowboys with a win, nine and four. And also Cardinals with a win, ten and four. And my Chiefs lost, so you know that's going to be ten and five. Then with Monday Night Football, which gave me a record of eleven and five this week, you guys. It's pretty good. We're going, you know, a terrible uh, card picking for me, which is making me feel that next week I have to do a little bit more better, a lot more studying. And I hope y'all ready for week five. Because week five is going to be another hard uh, picks. You know, these, these games are going to be real, 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 real close games. And, um,. Might have a special guest for the predictions. We might not. I'm not sure yet. But always be ready. I'm a, I'm going to give you the week uh, six predictions this week. It's not going to be like how this week went. You know, told you everything. Been busy. Podcast thing like this. You know, to give you guys some exclusive football talk and, you know, I just, I just, I just gotta be here. I just gotta get this done, you know. I'm gonna start, you know, sacrificing some things just to get this done for everyone who tunes into the Money the Greats, NFL talk, anything, any kind of content I'll put up on my page. And I, you know, thank y'all for rocking with me. So and salute y'all for just, you know, even viewing this uh, content that I'm putting out. So.
That's, that's, that's a great thing right there. I got a lot of epic games this week, and, you know, I picked the Raiders this week, and, you know, I guess it's been, been kind of hard for the Raiders this week. You got the loss to the Bears, and also, you got Gruden. What happened there? You know, you got, you got a lot of things going on over there right now with Gruden, so, you know, they're looking for a new coach. Things like that. Uh, my thoughts on that. You know, sometimes you, you, when you're in that uh, space to where you want to, you know, kind of like put some some category of, of, of a person, you know, in emails and things like that, you know, and you're degrading them and things like that, that. And you're not, you're not going to do good if you're, especially if you're a professional, you know, person in this world. You know, people are going to be watching you. You're very, you're very popular. You're not just five people watching you and then that's it. No, you got thousands of people watching you. Thousands of people who, uh, you know, follow you. So, you know, just, just a message for Gruden, like, you know, things like that, man. Uh, it's 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 right now in these times you're you're not able to do things like that and you know the Raiders could have used you for the rest of the season but due to the fact that things like that things like that happen you have to resign you have to do you have to leave the team you know things things of that nature because you did have a play, you do have a player on that team who was under the categories which Gruden was talking about we're not going to get into the specifics but as facts correct. You know, so you just you know you can't you can't disrespect people like that. That's just you know everybody is treated equal in this world nowadays. You know, not nowadays, but period. You know, you have to treat everyone equally. Doesn't matter their creed, whatever they believe in, what they like. It's just that's what it is. You know. But uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that part about the you know the culture thing and all that. And, you know, hope the Raiders can find a coach and, you know, keep this season going. You know, don't let that, you know, uh, slow them down. Have them, you know, losing games, you know, can't get right. Because they were going by his uh, coaching, you know. And a new coach comes in the middle, like, not even the middle of the season, but at the beginning of the season. Now you have to, you know, get familiar with that coach and, you know, things like that. So... I'm gonna get off that topic, you know. Maybe I might have a conversation with a Raider fan or something with y'all with him for that. But um, anyways, we're out of here though, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Keep up with the next one.